welcome back. So now we've got our saddle board in place uh, and I've just made a, made a point of making sure my screws are cab sunk so it's not going to foul any of the other timbers around it and it just looks nice and neat. So now we're going to start looking at constructing this hip end. I just want to start by saying there's two or three different ways to actually construct a hip end. I'm going to show you one of them. So <clears throat> I'm going to start by putting the crown in place first. I just want to talk about how to set out the crown and where it's going to be positioned. So just a quick recap. We've got our span, our run, which is half the span. And this is where we're working to, to the saddle board now. So this is this line on here. So what we should have in the center of there around, we should have this nice square. Just on that note, <clears throat> all of these sort of measurements, angles, cuts that we're talking about are in a perfect world, okay? There will be some sort of adjustments you're gonna to have to make to crown rafters, hip rafters, to suit maybe a little bit of twist in the timber, wall plates being out of parallel, uh, any other sort of parts that might come into factor. So, I've got my span, I'm gonna find my run, that is then the centre and the front of this wall plate. I'm going to find the thickness of my crown rafter, which in this case is going to be the same as my commons. I'm going to do half of that thickness, one side, and just strike a line. I'm always going to put that X in the middle so I know which side of the line I'm working to. So when we start to actually look at the crown rafter, it's very simple. It's exactly the same as a common rafter, it's plum cut is exactly the same, seat cut is exactly the same, so the angles are exactly the same. The only difference is you do not need to deduct half the thickness for the ridge. And I'm just going to show, if I was to position that there, tight to the saddle, just as an example, you can see your bird's path fits nice and neatly, but it will line up with the centre of that ridge. Okay. Once again, take care with your cutting, remember to square your lines round, keep everything nice and neat, and that should sit nice and neatly there. And once again, you're fixing exactly the same, you can either go through the top if you've got a long enough screw, or skew it through the sides, making sure you use that pre-drill, and you can go straight through the top as well. 